Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, name of this video is gonna be the pros and cons to um, having rims on your on your car. You know, I've had everything from uh, bubble caprice to um, twenty ten Camaros. I had a two thousand seven S five fifty. Um, now I got this twenty twelve Charger. And for whatever reason, man, like, I do not like riding on factory wheels. It is a much better ride, much better ride. But to me, the vehicle looks 80 times worse without uh, wheels. And it looks 80 times better with rims on it. As you can see, man, factory wheels is just ugly as hell to me. So the pros and the cons to having these uh rims on your vehicle... Is uh you know it looks way better with the rims, um, you know get more compliments etc. Make brains make the car pop or whatever. Without them, it's a much better ride, less shaking in the steering wheel, and less um time at the shop because you know hit a pothole. And um speaking of that, I didn't know I got these rims, these twenty fours right here. I got these for the um eight black and silver those covers going here. I got these twenty fours for the charger, twenty twelve charger. They have to they had to um they have to do much cutting. I think it's like a tire rod, you probably can't see it. Let me see if I zoom man. They have to shave this bolt down on a tie rod so it don't scratch the um tire and pop it. But uh, you know, so they gave me the twenty fours or whatever for a real good price. So I'm like, damn, okay, and it looks excellent on the car, but I did not know the skinny of the tire, um, which these are 245, um, 30, 24s, rim 24. And what I would never was never told to me, the, the thinner the tires, the better chance you have at um, hitting potholes and your tire going flat and the rims actually uh, getting dented. See this rim right here? It's dented. And this was like a, a once a week thing, man. Swerving these uh potholes and going over tracks, man. This was like every week. And I had to go pay like $120 to get them fixed. So I'm to the point now, man, I'm just riding factories until I build the courage to even spend my money like that again. On my Camaro, I had these uh 22s on there. On a the 2010 Camaro. And these tires are just that much thicker. These is 265s. Let me zoom in. 265, 35, 22s. And just this little bit more thicker. I never had uh, the, uh, the bead break or had the tire go flat like these. This is happening to me like three or four times on these 24s. So if you are going to ride rims, my advice to you. It's simple. Don't let them talk you into getting no thin tires, thin like, you know, riding rims or whatever, like they like they put in the songs. You need some cushion against these potholes. You got to get cushion to protect your rims. If not, it's going to be you, man, on the side of the road. And not only did I uh, dent the rim, which I'm going to, um, it's easily fixed. I'm going to tell you how to fix it. But not only did I... Uh, Dent the rim. Look at the tire, man. These tires are not cheap. Tire all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, before you trying to ride around the city looking all cute, man. But uh, real quick, how to fix it. You get you a little uh, tank like that. Um, butane. And uh, it's a must. I'll show you what it looked like if I can find it. Damn, it's hiding from me. I can't find it. Well, here it is. You just heat heat the uh you heat the uh the aluminum up, heat it up real good, and you just knock knock the dent back out. But the key to it is this is an aluminum hammer. So you can't put a steel hammer 
on the aluminum. You have to put the aluminum on the aluminum, aluminum, or you're cracked around. So, yeah, man, that's the pros and cons, and that's how you fix a, a dented rim. I'm not doing it because, like I say, the rim was, this video was not intended to show you how to fix it. I might make that video. It was actually just telling you the pros and cons. So, if I tend, hell, yeah, I'm going to make a video right now on how to actually fix it. But this is the pros and the cons of riding with rims on, man.